What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys enjoyed my content and um, you enjoyed that, my Gabby mouth and the readings, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Just saying. Um, this is um, hashtag glow up for the sign of Aquarius. This could resonate if you have Aquarius in any aspects of your charts, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Haven, or Jupiter charts. Um, I did get. Um, Oh, two channeled in. Two is I was meditating on your energy. It's a wonderful message, just saying. Um, I heard uh, Gatlin, Burr for thanks, uh, Gatlin Burr for Thanksgiving. And then very shortly after, it was like 15 to 30 seconds after that, I heard invitation. So either somebody's going to invite you to Gatlin Burr for Thanksgiving is what I'm presuming, or you are going to invite somebody to Gatlin Burr for Thanksgiving. It's very specific. But it's for one person out there, at least one person. So I feel you're either inviting somebody to Gatlinburg for Thanksgiving or someone's inviting you. So um, you plug it in, how it resonates. That's pretty beautiful, Aquarius. Just you go with your bath self. Um, if that resonates with you, holy crap, a moly. All right, let me shuffle out. What's wrong, buddy? Okay. This can resonate if you have Aquarius in any aspect of your chart. It's a free general reading, so it's very important to only take the messages that resonate with you and leave the rest. This is for the month of November of 2021. Oh, gosh, they're coming out so quick. I mean, are you, are, I feel like one of you guys is in a hurry or you're doing something very fast or you're about to do something very fast. Because both of those cards, the Animal Spirit and um, actually, all, well, the first two came out very, very quick. Third one came in, came out semi-quick. Spirit messages, you have a sign of Aquarius. I feel you are working, at, you work at a fast pace or you're doing something at a fast pace or you're about to start doing something at a fast pace. However that resonates for you, that's what I'm feeling. Maybe the invitation to Gatlinburg, if somebody invites you, comes in at a fast pace, or you are going to invite somebody soon, maybe. Spirit messages, you have a sign of Aquarius. Lizard spirit, dream the world into being, connect with crystals and nature signs. And we have two tea leaves, younger woman, unicorn. Um, number 38 and 11 might be very significant numbers in your life in some shape, form, or fashion. 38 and 11, they could be ages of you or somebody you're connected to. It could be significant um Date of birth number, green card number, or um, uh, social security number. It could be a significant lottery number in some shape, form, or fashion. It could be um, um, significant numbers you're seeing, uh, reoccurring numbers you're seeing out on billboards or advertisements in some shape, form, or fashion. Also, 1111 could be very significant to someone or the number 11. You plug it in, how that resonates. Also, you could be dealing with the fire sign because it's this fire sign energy. Um, if you are, they could have Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Midhaven, or Jupiter charts, if you are. Lizard Spirit, dream the world into being. A particular Aquarius has really got a huge wake-up call on spirituality versus religion. A huge wake-up call. It has really made them see things in a new perspective, a new positive perspective. They will probably pay it forward to a fire sign very soon. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Well, this is beautiful, Aquarius, if this resonates with you. Um, I heard in a particular Aquarius has um, got a new perspective on um, spirituality versus religion. Um, 
a, a positive uh, perspective on spirituality versus religion. Um, and it's made, um, made you see things in much different perspective. Um, it sounds like a positive perspective on spirituality. Um, it sounds like you've been comp uh, comparing spirituality versus religion um, is what it seems like here. And it sounds like um, it sounds like your perspective is changing. It sounds like you had a negative perspective on spirituality in the past, possibly, um, is what I'm feeling for some of you guys. You had a negative perspective, but your per perspective is changing in a positive way um, to spirituality. I think you had a negative connotation to it. Um, for uh, whoever this resonates with, I feel you were very heavily religious in the past, but um, it sounds like your perspective is changing um, on spirituality. And you realize it's not, um, maybe somebody told you it was the devil's work or um, it was the devil or something like that, which it's, it's definitely not. Anybody watches my readings, you know there's a huge difference. There's light arts, there's dark arts. I'm strictly, I'm strictly light, strictly. Um, there are dark arts out there, though, and we talk about them a lot, but that's not spirituality. That's definitely not spirituality. Uh, somebody that practices on the dark arts side, that is their free will choice, but that is not spirituality by any stretch. That's just their choice to practice, uh, use their gifts for evil, basically. Um, but it sounds like you are, your mindset is changing. Um, it sounds like it's softening. Um I feel you were strongly religious in the past, possibly, um, and maybe you are turning um, spiritual, uh, to spirituality or um, just softening your views on spirituality, how that resonates. But I heard basically um, you're going to, you, you're having a, a much positive, more outlook on things now. Um, I think tarot card readings have been helping you, is what I think, um, if this resonates with you. I think tarot card readers, uh, tarot card readers, or readings have been helping you in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, that's exactly what I think. Um, if this resonates with you, and um, I heard you're about to pay it forward to a fire sign soon. So I think the fire sign is a reader. I think the fire sign is a reader. If this resonates with you, that's exactly what I think according to the messages, but you plug it in how it resonates. Um, dream the world into being. So I think this is perspective change on um, on religion in the past. That's exactly what I think, if this resonates with you. Basically, you can be anything you want to be. You can be anything you want to be. Now, you could be evil if you want to be, or you can be, um, or you could be a good person. You know, you can be an evil person and, and go to church every Sunday. Uh, you might need to hear that. And I'm serious. Or you can be an evil person and read tar um, tarot cards. Or you can be a good person and read tarot cards. Or you can be a good person and go to church every Sunday. Um, it's not religion. It's not what religion you practice or sitting on the pew five times a week or whatever. I have nothing against religious people. I just, um, I don't, I don't. Um, I, I do have something against religious people that judge spiritual, spiritual people though. I do. Cause I don't feel you should judge anybody. Um, but who of this is for though, it sounds like your, um, your perspective is changing. It sounds like you had very harsh pers perspectives on the spiritual community in the past, but they're changing. And it sounds like you're about to pay it forward to a fire sign soon because um, it sounds like this fire sign, uh, pro I, I strongly think it's a reader. I do. If it's not a uh, reader, it's a prophet or, well, prophets read too. Prophets read too, just saying. It's somebody in spiritual community, whether it's a reader or not. Um, there's somebody, it's somebody in spiritual community. They could have Aries, Leo, Sag, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, mid, hammer, Jupiter. I heard you're going to pay it forward to them soon. My goodness, we're at nine minutes. All right, sorry connect with crystals um, that could maybe you're going to pay it forward to them by inviting them to Gatlinburg for Thanksgiving maybe for some I don't know I don't know connect with crystals a particular Aquarius is very interested in crystals some are going to start researching them some are going to purchase some Okay, well, you go with your bad self. So some of you guys are very interested in crystals. Some, I heard you're going to purchase some soon. Some, you're going to research them. Well, you go with your bad self. I'm, I'm going to, I'm making, I'm going to make some special videos on crystals. I haven't done it yet. I've been saying I'm going to do it for forever. But I am going to do it. 
Um, now that I got my house, my house is like completely freaking, it's not completely clean, but it, you know, like the little battery charger, like 96% charged. It's like 96% clean. So now, like I did a lot of it today. So, but saying that now I have more time to do my videos on crystals. I've been wanting to do them. So some of you guys are about to purchase crystals and some you're about to um, research them. And absolutely, yes, yes, yes. Um, please do your research, please. Because I had to research crystals a couple years ago. I have some buried, uh, for those of you who don't know, have them buried outside my kids' windows when crazy crap started happening to, to us a couple years ago in the community. It got that bad. And I started doing my research. And um, I still stand by them. And I still do like protection spells with the crystals um, for me and my kids in my home. And there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, there's really, there is nothing wrong with that. You know, it's not hexing people or voodoo curses or poking pins in the dolls to make people have, you know, strokes or heart attacks or whatever the black voodoo people do. I mean, black magic voodoo people do, not the color black. Um, whatever they do, I don't know what the crap they do, but what I do is completely on the light side. But congrats to you. Some of you are going to research them and some you're going to um, purchase some. And I am going to plan on doing videos on crystals, just so y'all know. Nature signs be receptive to the state. Uh, be receptive to the subtle messages from nature as you go about your day. Nature talks to us continually. We on, we need only open our hearts and minds. A particular Aquarius is about to get highly intuitive signs from the universe. Signs all around them on what they need to do. Some, some Aquariuses, these are very important life-changing decisions. Some for you, some for others. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. That's a strong one. That's a good but strong one. So for whoever that resonates with, you're about to start, I heard, getting strong intuitive signs from the universe. So the 3D world, that's everybody and their mama. That's me sitting at this table in my chair, speaking to you on the computer. That's me touching my aromatherapy um, cork and clay. Um, that's me touching my mouth. That's what we do, that's signs in the physical world. So whoever this is for, you're about to get physical signs in the physical world. So I think you're about to see something with your own eyeballs in the world. And it sounds, for some of you guys, it sounds like it's several things. It's not just one thing, it's several things. I heard several signs that you're about to physically see um, that's going to soon, that's going to make you um, make some kind of decision in some shape, form, or fashion. For some of you guys, it's um, for you. Um, it's going to affect you. For some, it is going to affect other people. So, uh, but I heard they're very, it's a very important decision, whatever in the crap it is. So it's not, oh, I'm going to go have, um, um, I, I'm going to go to Moe's for lunch, or oh, um, do you want to go to nothing but noodles? Um, you know, it's not like a dinner decision. It's an important decision. I think it affects your life in a huge, important way, or it affects other people's lives in a huge, important way. However, that resonates. But it's something you're going to see with your eyeballs or others are going to see. I think you're going to see it. You're going to see it with your own eyeballs. In the 3D, the world, that's going to make you make this important decision. Some of you guys, I feel it's two or more important decisions. So, um, yeah. Yeah. So paying attention to the signs of the universe, basically. Some of you guys, you could be getting, and, and now I didn't, this wasn't from the spirit message, but this is from the card. You might be, you might start seeing um, like pigeons that come, that come every day at noon or a squirrel that frolics in your yard five times a day around the same time. You know, intuitive signs from the universe. Now, that wasn't from the spirit message. The spirit message was specific. You're going to see something really, for some of you guys, several things in the world that's going to make you make huge decisions. But this is basically, um, this can be seeing intuitive signs, like from nature. Like, 
you know, a butterfly that flies on your shoulder at 3 p.m. every Tuesday kind of thing. And then researching the butterfly and what does that mean and blah, 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 that kind of thing. Younger woman, Dilly, um, and also too, I was going to say, sorry, there. Um, spending time in nature is also very, very good to meditate and contemplate. Uh, for anybody who needs to hear this, it's very, very good. I do that a lot. I drive around. People think I'm crazy, but I do. I drive around a lot by myself so I can meditate. And that's a, a lot of times that's how I get messages for you guys. And I'm serious when I drive around by myself. Um, and sometimes it takes 20, 30 minutes. I mean, but you know, it is what it is. But meditation is wonderful. I mean, wonderful. It relaxes the body. It clears the mind. I mean, one day I think I want to learn how, I think one day I want to become a licensed yoga instructor. And I'm serious about that. I'm serious. Um, obviously I'm not there yet. Um, I, I'm pretty sure yoga instructors have to be licensed. I'm pretty sure. I have to, I'd have to research it, but I would love to be a licensed yoga instructor. I'm not there by any stretch. I have, there's many more yoga classes I'd have to attend before that, but, but it, it's wonderful. It, yoga is wonderful. Meditation is wonderful. Nature is wonderful is what I'm trying to say. Younger woman, dealing a relationship with a younger woman. A younger feminine energy, younger than you, is about to become very, a very significant positive person in your life soon. For some, you never thought this person would be, but they are. Seeing things from a completely different perspective. Now. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Um, for some of you guys, I heard a um, femme energy younger than you. So that was specific. So this femme energy is younger than you, Aquarius. So, you know, you could be 60. You could be 25. You could be 35. You could be 45. But whoever this is in your life, if this resonates with you, she is younger than you. So, for example, if you're 60, she could be 59. Or she could be 35. But younger than you. But I heard she's about to become a very positive influence in your life soon. You never thought that she would be, but she is going to be. Um, so she is going to bring something significant to the table in some shape, form, or fashion in a positive way to you. Um, you never thought she would, but um, but she's going to um, in some shape, form, or fashion. For some, she already has. And intuitively, you know this. Okay, I heard for some she already has, and intuitively you know this. So for some, you've dealt with this femme energy in the past, and she already has. So intuitively, you know she's bring, brought positivity to, to your life or to somebody you're connected to's life um, in the past. Um, maybe for some, I don't think you wanted to admit it, but it sounds like she has. Um, for others, it sounds like she's about to enter your life, and she's going to be a very positive influence. Turning out to be a much more positive influence than the gossip train said. But they were saying this for st strategic reasons. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So I heard she's turning out to be a much more positive influence than you thought she was going to be. Um, but it sounds like people were talking negatively about her. They're either talking negatively about her now or they were. But I heard they were talking negatively about her for strategic reasons. Um, so they didn't want her something good to go come to her in some shape, form, or fashion, or they were trying to hide something. But I heard they were um, talking negatively about her for strategic reasons, either in the present or in the past. But it's a fem energy younger than you. So you have to plug this fem energy in, however that resonates in your life, Aquarius. Wow, this is a long... Um, blow up, but we're going to keep keep going. This is a good one. Unicorn, use your intuition to make benef beneficial changes. And I just want to say before, I mean, for you another message. 
I mean, this coupled with this and that spirit message when I got the nature sign card about um, you're about to see something and some several things in your 3D that's going to make you make huge changes in your life. Use your intuition to make beneficial, beneficial changes. It's all in the cards and the messages, you guys. All in the cards and the messages. I mean, you can't make this crap up even, even if you wanted to. I mean, I'm serious. Use uh, your intuition to make beneficial changes when you're seeing these things in the 3D, basically. Um, for some, I feel you're going to make these beneficial changes. Maybe I think with the influence of this um, beneficial, um, I'm sorry, you're going to make these beneficial changes in your life and others' lives. Because I heard in here it was not only your life, but some, for some it's your life and other people's lives. Um, I think this positive younger person, younger than you, is going to help um, help with this in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, possibly for some. You plug it in how it resonates. But she's very integral in your life, it sounds like, coming up. Some, she already has been, but it sounds like you didn't want to admit it. For some, she's, uh, she, it sounds like she's about to enter your life um, or re-enter or re-enter your life. She could re-enter your life, but she's very significant in your life um, or about to be. Unicorn, use your intuition to make beneficial changes. Yeah. Nothing stays the same. Know this. Growth is always good for everyone. Growth and change. Okay. Heard nothing, um, nothing always stays the same. Growth, growth and change is always good for everyone. So we have the unicorn card. So um, use your intuition to make beneficial changes. So I think you're going to um, make changes. I think you're going to make changes when you see something with your own eyes. Um, for some, several things with your own eyes. Um, soon. Um, and you're going to make beneficial changes, some to your own life, some to your own life and other, other people's lives. You're, whoever this is for, for that message with this, you are influential in some shape, form or fashion in somebody else's life as well. But it's a huge, it's a big decision. Whatever, some I feel your position is a high authority in some shape, form or fashion. So you're going to affect other people's lives too. Not only your life, your personal life, or your professional life, or whatever. It's somebody else's life. I think you are a position of high authority that affects somebody else's life is what I'm trying to say. Um, but it sounds like positivity is breeding in here. I do not feel any negativity in here. I just want to say I do not. I mean, sometimes I do in the blow up, and I will tell you if I do. I do not in this one. I really don't. I don't. Not at all, actually. Um, I think you're going to... I think positivity is breeding in here, actually. And I think you're about to make some beneficial changes in your own life and this other, some of you guys, other people's lives soon. And I feel for some, it could be in the professional realm, some in the personal realm, some in both. And I'm just being real frill about that. I am so serious. And some of you guys, this person, um, I think is going to, um, is a positive influence in your life in some shape, form, or fashion. For some, this could be the person that's, um, um, for some, this could be the fire sign you're going to pay pay it forward to. Because I heard uh, for some of you guys, you're going to pay it forward to a fire sign, possibly. But you plug it in, how that resonates, if that resonates for you, possibly. I'm trying to put it all together, possibly. But, I mean, you have to plug it in, how it resonates. For some, it may not be. But unicorns are basically, um, they're magical creatures, you guys. They're magical creatures. And they um, they shape shift and they they're very positive and beautiful. Obviously, unicorns are always beautiful. They're positive and beautiful, and they shape shift in the world. But shape shift shape shifting in the world is a good thing because that helps you conform to the changes of the world. Because, like the spirit message said, nothing ever stays the same. It's always good to grow and change. And absolutely, like a unicorn, like a unicorn, unicorns shape shift. They grow and they change. And they, um, they can conform to society because society has always outcast the unicorns, if that makes sense. So they continually grow and change and shape shift themselves to keep rolling in society because they've always been different, if that makes sense. 
Um, I love unicorns. I love them for many reasons. Because I feel like I, if I was a spirit animal, I'd be a unicorn. And I'm serious about that. I'm serious. Unicorn is my spirit animal. For real, for real. Because I've always been different. Always, always, always. But I've learned to embrace that, you know. Um, and I feel everybody should embrace their unique qualities. Um, maybe for some, you're embracing your 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 unique quality. Your I can't sorry, your unique qualities, um, and maybe um, you're becoming comfortable with that, and you're going to start embracing them more. And maybe it's going to bring positivity into your life, and going to help you make beneficial changes. Maybe for some in your personal, maybe for some in your professional, maybe for some in other areas. Maybe for some, the beneficial change is going to Gatlinburg because somebody's going to Gatlinburg. That's cool as hell. Just saying. I've always wanted to go to Gatlinburg. I've never been. That's awesome. Let me see if I hear anything else. Okay, I didn't. I didn't. All right. Well, we're done. I love you guys so much. I hope this helped for real, for real, If you think anyone else could benefit from these messages, please share these videos on your social media and word of mouth. I very much appreciate it. Love you guys. Namaste.